Hello everybody, welcome to the card for Wrestlemania, the first night, April the 2nd, 2000 UTC. I'm gonna have to stop you right there, Jimmy Ventura, how you doing? Everyone out in JFW Universe, it's me, Gorilla Mezzo, and that's right, the biggest night of the year, night one of WrestleMania in the JFW, Mr. Jim McMahon has called me for one night and one night only to come do commentary. So let's go through the card and I cannot wait for Saturday night. Boy, and howdy. First, first up, look at this. Night Demon versus Mr. Jim McMahon himself in a last man standing match. That's right. Night Demon feeling a bit buried by the bookers as of late, but you can never keep a zombie underground. He rose up out of the grave, and he called out the headman himself, said, Mr. Jim McMahon, I belong on WrestleMania night one, match one, and I want you last man standing. That should be a wild grudge match. Absolutely wild, and I guess that's why Mr. Jim McMahon wanted the greatest of all time calling it, eh? Absolutely, <laughs> and next up on WrestleMania, oh, well, we've got, it looks like we've got a threesome of scousers, and you know, as, as the American, that's not going to have much meaning for me. I'm going to hand this one over to you <laughs> to try and hype up Jimmy Ventura. Holy crap. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, as you may know, Muppet Pac-Man has been looking in the crowd for his dad for a number of weeks. And uh, what the, you know, you also may remember humorous Chim's car getting stolen by the Scousers. Or what the police found when they investigated was a lot of DNA, bodily fluids, left on the, on the back seat. And they've established it's come from all three of the Scousers. But more than that, one of them is actually Muppet Pac-Man's dad. So we're going to have two matches over WrestleMania 9. Night one and night two to find out who the lucky or unlucky guy is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only been retired for a year, but this is the state of the JFW, folks, <laughs> and I cannot wait to find out. Well, let's just go to the next <laughs> match and hit your plim plum loser weight championship. That's right, the littlest of the little guys, Storr, has won his first ever singles match, and it was against the plim plum loser weight champion, Humorous Chimp. So that has earned him a title shot at WrestleMania. That's right, he's trying to lock down and uh, have his uh, master chef steal all the re-rolls and solidify himself as a singles dominant champion and that's going to be store versus humorous chimp and i am being told in my ear that there's a bit more on that jim tell us what could be happening with this match well yes monday night claw is going to be humorous chimp versus muppet pac-man and if muppet pac-man wins that match he will be added to this plim plum plusa weight matchup for the title <laughs> Incredible. You might not have Gorilla Mezzo for Monday Night Claw, but you've got every reason to watch in the final run-up to WrestleMania. Let's see the next match. And next up, we've got a very special stipulation, a hand and brain match. That's right. The brain is going to tell the hand what to do and how to win. The hand will be in the ring, and you got to look at one side of it. Dimmy G, well, you know, we know Elliot's got no hand, so Dimmy G's going to be the hand, and Elliot's going to use his brains because, well, you know, Dimmy G ain't got no brains. And on the other side of things, the American dynamic duo of Gdanik and Trififi, are getting in, are gonna get it done on their side and try you know he's real good with his hands at least to himself when he's looking at cat porn or cat lady porn whatever <laughs> and then you've got uh, a two-time SFL winner in Gdanik he knows how to coach and he's gonna coach try to victory and this one should be a wild ride oh yeah and then a long time stalwart. This is the match that some people say we're just using to fill time with entrances and get a bunch of people in the ring that otherwise didn't qualify for WrestleMania. I say shenanigans on that one. It's the Jimps of the Ring Memorial, and it means a whole lot. And it's got a big crew of people here. Look at that. Top rope Johnny, purple chest Volcayo. We got the big man himself, PTK, Frost Lord Army, Calcium Cast for some reason, and then Squirrel Dude, and Flicky Flack. <laughs> yeah. 
Flicky Flack. Should be great. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Flicky always brings us down on that one. And Flicky yeah. Flack as well. I'll do my best <laughs> to keep it going. Oh, oh boy, yeah. I'm excited for this one. How about you, Jimmy Ventura? I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Almost as exciting as when Flicky does his uh, old school move. Woohoo! Uh, boy. <laughs> And here it is, your main event. You know, we haven't seen Clavius all that much in a long time since, but he is a JFW original, and he is competing against Mr. E for the JFW World Championship. Again, we have no idea who that man of mystery could be. He's a top rope phenom. He wears that rubber ducky with pride. He kind of looks like the guy you just want to tell the fuck off, but he's your JFW world champion and he is going to come to the main event of night one of wrestlemania and show the returning clavius that it's his house now baby what a main event we've got in store jimmy ventura looking good for saturday night at wrestlemania Oh, yeah, it's going to be completely amazing. Can't wait. Can't wait to be back in the booth with you as well, Gorilla. I'm sure it will be absolutely glorious. One night only, baby, and I cannot wait wait for it should be a wild party get yourselves ready get yourselves to claw tomorrow night and i will see you on saturday oh yeah thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic